Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to combine a custom element, Shadow DOM and a template engine uh, called LitHTML and it comes from Google. It is bas basically two functions. One is called HTML which expects on template literal and a render function and um, this is the, um, the template engine which is used in Polymer 3.0 uh, which can be used with Polymer 3.0. So I already downloaded this and it's about I don't know, 500 lines of code unminified with lots of comments. Okay, so um, let's start with the component. So what I would like to do is to create a custom element and call it nice counter, which will extend the uh, HTML element. And I will just switch to here. And um, I will just use a constructor and call super because required by the spec and then just open the shadow DOM at that shadow and then use the open mode. What I also would like to do is to have a message and this is just the value of the attribute message. So and then I would like to have a counter value, which is zero, and then have two methods. One is called uh, get counter, and it will return the uh, return the counter value. And another method is called uh, set counter. It's just get on setter with counter, and then this counter value associate with the value. And then I would like to define a method template. And this method uh, will use the lit HTML. But in order to do so, I would like I would like to use the um, ES6 modules. So let's activate that. And then I can just import import and uh, HTML function and render function from from lit HTML JS, and then I can define my template. And this is uh, the text syntax. So this is the multi-line string. And what I would like to do is just to return a diff diff, and within the diff, I can just access here my uh, message with the state of the counter. So one is the attribute and the other one is going to be dynamic. Why dynamic? Because what I will do is I will do the following set interval and I would like here to have a method increase counter and this will just increase the counter and um, so let's do this every second so and if the uh, so we have the template here and in case the counter is going to be changed what I would like to do is here in the set counter method I would like to re-render the page so I will use the other method, it's called render. And in this render, I will just fetch the template and render the output into the root, the shadow root. So it could already work. What I only will have to do is to define the component. And, and the name of the component is going to be a nice counter. And the class is nice counter. So this is the class name and uh, this is the tag name. So now we could use this and let's do this here. Nice counter. And the uh, message is Duke. And what happens? Console uh, counter value is not defined. So let's see what the problem is. This is the counter value. Uh, counter this counter value 
this and counter value. Message is not defined. So this is this message. Oh, this message and of course this counter. And we have Duke and two, so it works. And but the most interesting part right now is the following. So if we open the Shadow DOM and the diff, we notice that only the um, one variable is updated in the DOM and the other one is static. So what it means is this template engine is very efficient with the changes. If I would write the template engine by myself, so a very simple one, just use the um, ES6 literal, it will replace the whole subtree. But with LitHTML, it only replaces what really changes, which is very fast. 